Why, hello, everybody. I have returned. Whether you like it or not. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, it's been a decent week so far. I mean, except for... Actually, Thursday was kind of shit. But then we made up for it by, you know, punching a bunch of robots and doing cool shit. So then everything's been pretty decent Friday. But uh, Saturday, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But hey, if your second half of your week can at least make up somewhat for the rest of the week, eh, that's usually, it usually comes out in the wash, right? It's not like the country's falling apart and the world is going to die, uh, going to cause us to die painfully, at least. Uh, and we're in a constant spiral of death, destruction, and mayhem. When last we left our heroes, uh, we had just finished up some stuff with, uh, some OG plot, uh, where the president of our company heroically sacrificed himself to try to save all the scientists and the heroes aboard this d uh, defense satellite. In doing so, pissed us off enough that we used a new unproven attack and managed to kick their ass. After doing so, we proceeded to, to decide, well, the space monsters still exist, but we but they're not attacking right now, so they're not a threat. We don't know where Dr. Hell is and the Infinity uh, Mazinger and we uh, and the. Uh, the what do they call the, the stupid Zonders, right? The Zonders are hidden somewhere and who knows when they're going to show back up. So we decided, well, what can we actively fight? Zeon. Neo Zeon's still up there, and we kind of need to unite the, uh, the planet, unite everyone, uh, not just on planet, actually, uh, but unite everyone, period. Uh, otherwise, shit's going to go down and suck. So we decided uh, we we're left with the choice. We side with Char's Neo Zeon, we side with Haman's Neo Zeon, or do we make the correct choice and not side with either? In making that correct choice, apparently Haman and Char decide to team up against us. You know anything about Gundam plot? Red flag. <laughs> Those two do not get along. <laughs> not at all. So them getting along is bad news. So why don't we see what the rest of this uh, little root split has in store for us, shall we? So, at the end of the day, what's Char Aznable's deal? Trust me, people have been trying to answer that question since the series first came out. What do you mean, his deal? He's the Red Comet of Xeon. Wow, really? Gee, I never knew that. Thanks, that clears everything up. No, what I don't get is that he delivers his big speech at Dakar, then vanishes off the face of the Earth, then comes in out of nowhere. With an army big enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Haman's Neo Zeon, no less. He's gotta have a sponsor with some deep pockets. You think a military contractor like Anaheim is backing him? Char Aznable's charis uh, charismatic enough that I could see it. Us regular salarymen could never dream of having half that guy's charisma. What does this Char guy want to do? Uh, well, you know, I'm sure Jet can explain it. Hey, now hold on here. I think this would be better explained by someone with a real corporate job. You know, like Sagiri. There you go, Sakurai. Let's hear it. Sorry, uh, I got nothing. Man, seriously? Look, you can't expect me to explain something I can't make any sense of. I'm with Sagiri on this one. It's like no one can tell what Char's thinking. He's declared war on the Earth Federation, and I guess he's attacking us, so we fight back, but... Frankly, his endgame is still anybody's guess. He still hasn't told the public anything about his vision or what uh, comes after overthrowing the Earth Federation, huh? Wouldn't Amuro and Camille have an ideal or two there? I've asked Camille before, and he seems to be coming up as blank as we are. But he and Lieutenant Amuro mentioned sensing something akin to uncertainty in Char. Uncertainty? And I think that's the reason why Char's strategy for Neo Zeon is so unclear. That's a good point. Unlike Haman, who's very openly fighting the Federation forces with the intent of overthrowing the Federation. All he does is move his fleet around and show off what he's got. He hasn't shown any concrete strategy. Even if he did want to do something, Amuro and the rest of us would interfere. He's a crafty one. Maybe he's pulling the wool over Haman's eyes and letting her do the work for him. And once we and Haman are done fighting it out, he makes his move. Something tells me Haman wouldn't fall for such a transparent ploy. Once we uh, reach move... Once we uh, move on Axis, I'm sure Amuro and Camille's group will uh, get some answers. We'll have to break through Neo Zeon's defense line if we want to get there. Just thinking about that gives me a headache. I say this is all Haman Karn's fault for letting Char sweet talk her. 
Is that how Neo Zeon became unified? If this fighting really did stem from personal emotions. If Amon and Char mend their bridges, it makes sense for their forces to become joined at the hip too. Ah, women are such weak creatures. When a man from their past is nice to them, they fold like a bad poker hand. You think that's what it is? The struggles and tra uh, travails of new types go straight over my head. And that kind of drama is not much better. I, sh I just pray as a fellow woman that Haman is nobody's fool. Same, really. I know. Is Char Asimov really that kind of scoundrel? Oh, Wendy, you sweet summer child. Never give a man a bit of the doubt. <laughs> Men like him only have one true love in their lives. Themselves. That's why these women who yearn for them as tools to serve their own ends. They also like having someone there who validates everything about them. In other words, they go for the motherly type. So, you're saying Char Asimov's a big baby? All men are big babies as far as I'm concerned. So that goes for Van, Captain Harlock, Spike, Ryoma, even Tetsuya? Maybe, maybe not. You know what they say, never judge a book by its cover. Wendy, Raimi, if you two don't want to end up in tears like Haman did, I suggest you develop some critical thinking skills when it comes to men. Uh, right. If men have a mother complex, does that mean women have a father complex? I could kind of see it. For every person who says love saves the world, there's another ready to start a war because of love. The pain in the ass, if you ask me. Love, huh? Ah, oh, love. True love is a tricky thing. Captain? What brings you to the hangar, sir? I may be the captain of Arcadia, but I'm still a warrior. The time I spend with fellow warriors out there risking their lives is valuable in its own way. I shouldn't be surprised. Okay. Y yes, sir. Don't rack your brain too hard. You can worry about true love later. Just focus on what's in front of you. Consider that captain's orders. Understood. That's all. Captain. Thank you. Welcome to Scenario 44, Silent Voice. This one's less complicated than, than the previous mission and a couple of other previous missions, to be honest. All we need is uh, Judo to get uh, secret points on this one. So let's bring him out. Judo, where did I put you? Judo. The new Gundam. Well, let's get other folks out. All right, one more. Bust out the Black Serena. We'll reach Neo Zeon's defense line shortly. Once we get through Axis, no one will stand between uh, Once we get through this, no one will stand between us and Axis. Hell yeah! Time to send Hamana or Char or whoever else a message. No matter what we face, we'll keep moving forward. To bring mankind together to face the alien menace. We've got spirit and spades. Now we just have to follow through. Neo Zeon incoming. That's a lot of battleships for a Neo Zeon fight. The Quebly! Come on, came out in person. I certainly did. After all, I'm the supreme commander of Neo Zeon's forces. She's got spirit and spades, too. Is that the power of love? It's a scary thing. Infinite Haven, I'll extend this offer to you one last time. Surrender and join Neo Zeon. Well, at least you're trying to reason with us now instead of running in with guns blazing. If you want to win us over, then tell us what Neo Zeon's goal is. To overthrow the Earth Federation. What else? Hold on, Haman. Sure, Space Noise and Earth Noise have been fighting for years. But the Earth Federation is trying to reform itself right now. The reforms from Councilman Aim Prespun's faction are moving forward slowly but surely. Councilman Prespun's got a lot of support all over the world. Prime Minister Yumi of Japan is just a start. I hear he's looking for ways to make peaceful amends with the colonies. Can you give it time? Many reforms have been carried out in the Earth Federation over its history, but never have they led to any meaningful change in the government policies of oppressing space noise. That can be chalked up largely to economic and political stagnation in the times we live in, the Twilight Age. We get the end result was making the colonies bear the brunt of the hardship. But the world is changing. If you want to do that through war, that would only be repeating our history for endless e of endless wars. Come on, is it possible at all for us to avoid fighting? In the end, you are merely blind followers of the regime. You refuse to understand the feelings of downtrodden. Can you not sense the limitations and anxieties of space noise? You're going to envelop the whole world and cause, uh, and cause its existence to waver. These, the people's wills are ushering the world to its doom. Don't you get it, Haman? 
Where's that affect innocent people aren't okay? I mean, not that I disagree, but that would mean, yeah, because all wars are bad. Because they all do. Come on, you should know that you're after overcoming your own past. Overcoming my past? As far as you're said than done. Come on. So Amon and Char aren't unified? It's a pity, you know. There was a time when I would have hoped that you of all people could understand me. Did Char understand you? Tell me, Haman, what does Char plan on doing after overthrowing the Earth Federation? He hasn't shared his vision and future with you either, huh? Can you really trust him? Amro Ray, Camille Padan, do not presume to be um, between Char and I. Haman! Haman, I think you're being played by him, even if I am. I believe in the Red Comet who gave me hope inside the dark asteroid vast of Axis. Come on, are you? Is that her love? All forces, commence the attack. Do not allow the Infinite Haven to advance. We have to fight it out, huh? Steal yourselves. We're after Haman, the commanding officer. If that's what you want, Haman, I'll bring out your true feelings and accept them. That's how I'll finish my fight with you. Victory conditions, defeat Quebly in four turns. Yes, our point is defeat everybody else, then Quebly. All right. Let's get some Acel going. Oh, hey, we finally have every uh, Spirit Command unlocked. That was the uh, achievement we just got, by the way. Let's get started. We got enemies all over and we need to kick a lot of ass. Already in range of someone to kick their ass, huh, Amaro? Good job. So, uh, Pamon secret points. You need to get Judo to uh, defeat Hamon. Which, you know, he directly said he would intend to do. So, you shouldn't be surprised by this. <laughs> there is a secret scenario that you can get uh, later, and it is required that you meet the requirement in this mission. You need eight Haman points. At this point, we already have eight. If you've been following along with what I've been doing or playing along or what have you, then you'll have eight Haman points. There is attack point bonus, but we will get to that later in the mission. Hey, he got love. Darn it. Oh, dude's gonna get God's judgment. Yep, he goes squish. Overflow. The beam. A getter beam. Battleships, are you going to move or are you guys going to be jerks? Nope, they're going to be jerks. Okay, I need to move fast still then. All right, uh, let's make shit happen. And of course, Buns Finder. Ah, crap, support defend. 
Okay. Well, it burned his one support defend at least. Support cluster Nova. of that Jupiter army reject. Probably overkill. Nope. So that's what we're doing today. You get high brower slashed. Ooh, we got wish. You get hyper aura slash. And you get hyper aura slash. I mostly just wanted a unit up here so that these guys get enough attention to want to move. Regular distortion attack will be more than enough on you. An S might kill you. They have support fend all over the place. Direct attack. Hit the middle one. This fucking Dubin Wolf. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, the Dubin Wolf is now like just considered a mass production model, even though that was like a special unit earlier. <laughs> it belonged to Rakan, if you don't remember. Go full shine spark on him then. Where's Judo? All the way the fuck over here. Jesus. Get your high mega cannon out and wreck some dude. Here, please. Uh, hit this guy all the way over here. Cool, nice crit. Commander level four. If I put you over here. Wait, how far does this map attack hit? Okay, so I put you here. Well, bamboo splitter this dude.
There we go. And then weaken those two significantly. Shots fired! Kaboom! Yep, burning slash! Weakening units is more important than killing them at the moment, mostly. Actually, see them attack us. Because I don't think we've seen this battleship yet in any of the games. It's just a bigger particle cannon, though, just like ours. Jeez. Okay. Long sword throw it is. Geo, but just for like a split second, not like looking carefully at his unit, at his character, I mean, his portrait. Um, it, I always think of the uh, of Big O for some reason. Like he like he would fit into the Big O anime and I'm like, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> but if I see him for just a split second, I kind of get that feeling. I think it's his hair. If you look for only a second, it kind of looks like Rogers. Oh, and if you're wondering, man, Big O would be great in this series. Why is it Big O here? Because he was in Zeta. Like all the Zeta games, I think, actually. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, they didn't also put him in this. Uh-oh! Wow, you actually hit him! Shit! Don't kill him, please. Buster Missile! All right, battleship on battleship action. I can, I can understand that. Buster beam. That's fine. I put Realm over there so he can take a beating. Fortunately, the Bellvine cannot hit that far away. Cool. Finish it off with the Getter Beam. That guy barely has anything left. Alright. If I get you over here, you should be able to fight her, right? No! I don't have a cell. I'll have to use boost dash, but I can do that. So that's not a problem. Okay. Missile launcher this dude to just get him out of the way. Then move over here to provide your amazing commander aura to like everything. No, I'm holding you off because you have mercy. Soul just guarantee this kill.
bravery for the same reason. Okay, just these units so far. That. Drill pressure punch will be enough. Wipe it out. Not enough, really? Damn. If he crits, it should be. But he didn't. Alright, combination VTX. Finish it off that way. A little bit of love. And then you've got judgment. And then my friend gets super Inazuma kicked. We're gonna actually watch this animation. It's been a hot minute. Wow! Dude's la dude actually is gonna go down with the ship! Now the question is if he actually did. Just one more! Time to make, be make her bleed, folks! Nothing to say to her, huh? I uh, can't skull heart special from there. Ah, uh, Tobia, I see you've been improving. Come on, if you're still willing to give me the time of day, then hear me out. You should open your heart more. I don't want to see Haman Karn fighting while filled with uncertainty. So in the end, you've grown into yet another man who angers me. Stop this, Haman! Quit dragging the rest of the world into your personal anger! Be silent. I am who I am, and I will allow no one to dictate otherwise. Yeah, whenever they add Tobia in the same plot as Haman, she basically considers him like a second judo. Because <laughs> he's a young kid who has... Uh, who's very emotional and she kind of sees as like almost a little brother figure kind of okay i'm going to hope that's enough nope never mind that's why i left ryoma mercy intuition i don't need to use valor or something that extensive I use mercy. Oh, whatever. But I use mercy. What the fuck, game? That's my safety save will have to do. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so it's this point. Uh, oops, spirits. 
God, just use bravery. Mercy. Intuition. Mercy. Soul. Intuition. You've got no more idea of Charles' intentions than we do, huh? Don't speak as though I'm on your level, Amuro Ray. I want to believe in him, just like you do. I want to, for that to be who he is. Hearing that makes it all more clear that you cannot be allowed to pass. Charge his own duty to fulfill. Your existence serves only to distract him. That worked! Alright. Hi, Mega Cannon. Uh, persist Bullseye. Come on! You better vent all your feelings in this fight. I'm under no obligation to do any such thing for you. Face it, that stubbornness is eating away at your heart. You presume much. But before now, all I did was push you away. I never considered how you must have felt. But that doesn't help at all. Nothing will change if you don't make a change. Is that why you try to cozy up to me? The utter impertinence. That's it, Haman. That your feelings. Anger, hatred, whatever they are. I'll accept them. That's all in my fight with you. Hey, fuck off laser! Fight well, but not well enough to destroy the Quebly. Stop, Hamon! You'll never win against uh, us when you're filled with so much uncertainty. You dare to accuse me of uncertainty? Damn right I do. The Mon I know had far more poison or strength than this. That's what the strength of you—that was the strength of your heart. But look at you now, Shido. Are you going to intrude in the domain of my mind as Camille Padon did? You hate being intruded on so much, then just let me in. What? I thought that when you and Charaz will join forces because you'd overcome your past. I thought if you had, we could move forward together. But no, you're still obsessed with the past. That's not healthy, Haman. You need to confront the Charaz inside you. What do you know about me? I know enough to know that I don't, under, I don't understand you. Enough to know that I could never be what Char was for you. But damn it, Haman, I just can't leave you alone. You should know. I couldn't begin to know what's going on through your head. But what I do know is that your heart is lonely and crying out with a silent voice. So I... Come on, listen to Jido. I'll pay or play. Jido has the strength to accept anyone. Lemmy was only nice to me when I fought, but Jido is different. He could accept you if only you'd let him. It's all too late. Where'd that come from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! <laughs> Armors! Man, these guys will show up anywhere, won't they? 
They brought the Dark Army and some Master Gu Grandmaster Gundams with them too. They must have utilized DG cells that Wang Young Fat provided them. I hope you'll pardon the intrusion. My business is actually with them today. By them? You mean Haman? How do you do, Haman Karn? I am... Don't bother introducing yourself. I know of the organization being led by the man with the claw. I also know about your ultimate plan, the time of happiness. Then perhaps... Neo Zeon has no desire to co-mingle with a delusional group that averts its eyes from reality. Once I'm finished with the Infinite Haven, your group will be the next to be obliter obliterated. Oh, you are a rather frightful person. But your heart is filled with sadness. Miss Haman, the comrade would be willing to welcome you with open arms. Please offer your new type powers to aid in accomplishing the comrade's dreams. Are they planning on using Psychomu for the time of happiness mind control? Haman Karn, you are a lonely, lonely woman. Come, dream together with the comrade. Share in our dream of happiness. You call me a lonely woman? I suppose I am. But that is simply who I am. I'll not forgive your side for making a mockery of it. She turned down the comrade. She's got to pay. Anyone who turns down an invitation from the comrade could just drop dead. Oh, jeez, what's wrong with those kids? The Claw systematically murdered everybody who's refused an invitation to come on board. It's what he did to Elena. Those kids want to kill him on now? Carosa, Melissa, do your best now. There's lots of people who are, who are standing in the comrade's way. I know, for the comrade, and for us. I don't want the comrade to hate us. I don't want to be abandoned. It's okay, Melissa, we fight for the comrade. Those kids. I don't know what their deal is, but it sounds like Claw's controlling them. He's not doing it in the mind control sense, but there's nothing more lowdown than entrapping someone with affection. You kids need to stop. The Claw's got you fooled. Shut up, you're the comrade's enemy. The comrade's enemy, our enemy. I ask you one last time, Haman, will you? I speak no further. Fucking funnels are... Uh, it hurts. You lowly filth. Go back and pass a message to the man with the claw for me. I have no tolerance for despicable creatures such as yourselves. That is your answer to the comrade, then. Carosa, Melissa, I leave the rest to you. We got this. We'll kill all the comrade's enemies. I'll do it with Carosa. Cease this. You are no one's tools. Join me. There's no need for you to fight. Shut up, shut up, shut up! We fight... For the comrade. Oh, blind love. Come on. Don't you know. Just don't. I, I will fulfill my duty. I shall deal with the children myself. You're fighting on our side? Just this once. I cannot simply ignore those children. That's good enough reason for me. All units, work with Haman Karn and destroy the armors. Our target is the original seven armor. Take that out that and the battle's decided. Enemies of the comrade. We'll strike you down. God damn it. All right, goals to defeat Sinner Friday. Haman has joined our team. By the way, she's nowhere near as strong as she was just a moment ago. What do you want from me? <laughs> she's not. She doesn't have like double move or all the other skills she had a second ago. Uh, but she does have beam saber, beam gun, and funnels. So she's equivalent. Meh. Um, she does have love, so she can sell. That's a lot of SP to spend on a cell when you're not going to be in range of anything. Uh, attack point bonus! Defeat two enemies with Haman. Move closer. You folks are going to be my front line for now. And anybody else who still has... Oh, well, you can still go. So, uh... Go. Um. And then anybody else who saw us movement, get your posterior in gear. That's too <laughs> I used everyone else already. Heavy machine gun. I'm sorry, heavy machine gun. I should say it like I do in, in Metal Gear? Not Metal Gear. What the fuck? What's his name again? God, that's such a popular series and I'm blanking. Whatever. Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies to the southwest. For some reason, I thought they were shifted up and right more. Oh, well, plenty of opportunities to murder. All right, let's see. Funnels on you, but use love. Cool. At this moment, I'm not the Supreme Commander of Neo Zeon's forces. For this moment alone, I shall be true to myself. Come what may. 
焦りすぎたな行けハンデル知恵失せろ Cool. And yes, getting her kills and increasing her kill count right now, it does help. Why does it help? I'm not telling you. But I'm sure it's painfully obvious. Alright, let's get all these people that are way the fucking bum fuck nowhere up, up close first. Just so I don't forget them. I mean, it's not likely I'll forget any of them, but... You know what I mean. Oh, Dan and Van. You a cell. You I actually want in the battlefield to do some good shit. In fact, we'll watch the animation. Bye bye. I'm excited to see more of this in Super Robot Wars 30. I am excited to see what else they do with Gun X Sword. attack you'll be fine unless you crit then you'll just take care of it anyway Oops. actually want you to get in the action a bit hyper mega cannon Honestly, I just need to burn some of your EXE. You just have a lot of it. <laughs> so let's have you kick some ass. Take some names. Do what you normally do, Koji. Why all of a sudden are you dealing less damage? Hmm. Strange. Oh, not you. Okay. Just gonna casually one shot a Grandmaster Gundam. Is it really, though? I mean, I know it has the word Gundam in its name, but it's not really like any Gundam we've ever seen. Kind of hard to call it a Gundam and more like a conglomeration of hate and violence at this point.
Bye! I mean, one of them we've got to take out with him. I mean, that's just kind of wired. Oh, don't need to go that big. I just need you to do enough damage to kill it so we can move on. Just gonna get rid of these Grandmaster Gundam, sweep them off the field. They're, they don't need to be here. They're an annoyance. <laughs> And then hammer someone in the arts for me. Oh, hey. Right. Get her. Tobia. I don't know why you're attracting so much attention, guy, but go for it. Uh oh. I just realized I still need to kill one more unit with the uh, Haman. Um, counter with something less intense. <laughs> really? You're out of energy? Harry, take care of that for me. Thank you. Now, use the high mega cannon full power! Okay, come on! All the fucking way over here. Love gives you charge, though, right? It does not. Why have a supporter that gives you charge? I have someone that gives you bravery! That's just as good. The Haman lady is incredible. I find analyzing her combat to be stimulating in a way unlike anything I've ever experienced. It has improved my processing speed. Okay, and what does all that mean? It might be best uh, quantified as the human emotion of awe at seeing something that perceives as beautiful. Nice, Haman! You're on fire out there! This is much as hardly praiseworthy. It's not that a bad feeling at all. It's a sensation I've never felt before. Alright, well, we've got a lot of extra EXC floating around, so why don't I do that? So you can fight the children that you are so eager to protect. You! The comrade invited you, but you turned him down! We must kill you for that. W what? Perhaps it would be an act of mercy to free you from this battle. You children who have never experienced love, I shall engage you myself. She still was, had intuition active. I kind of forgot that. That's why I, when I used wall, it was like, hmm, this might be pointless. Are you gonna... You can hit him, at least. You're not gonna be in range of any of the moots. Man, T Tetsuya just doesn't feel like he gets as much action as he should. So 
Skull Heart Special. Another Sekia Tekioken. And a full attack for overkill. Okay. And where's my analyzes? Analyze. Go home and go to bed, kiddo. You! You're an original seven! You're the comrade's enemy! That's why we'll fight you. For the comrade's sake. God damn it. Dan doesn't seem to like this situation at all. I guess that does that count as cutting it into four parts? Ah! No! My sin! Melissa's sin! The battle's over. Now remove yourselves. Shut up! You're the comrade's enemy! Die, die, die! Carosa, let's stop. Let's go home and apologize to the comrade. We can't. We broke our armors. The armors that were supposed to serve the comrade. He'll forgive us. It's okay. They'll all forgive us. We just we were just gonna get abandoned. I just know it! No 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 anything but that Carosa. I'm gonna do this. Together, Melissa! Okay. As long as I'm together with you, Carosa. The armor is rushing our way! I'll kill you! I'll at least take you out guys out! I don't think so. Melissa! Carosa! Together forever. Yeah. Oh god. Don't see it, you know. They left us with no other option. I'm just like those children. But. Come on! Infinite Haven, let's be the last we see of each other. Wait! Come on! Please! So go after Jido. Mon's got nowhere to go home to now. Did she see herself in those kids? It's sad. Yeah. Come on. Maybe it's not what you want, but I want to, to see each other again. I think when we do, we'll truly understand each other. Brother. What? Those children. Was that really the only way? They were in on the Claw's plot. They didn't deserve any pointless mercy. Brother, Ray's whole quest for vengeance still doesn't sit right with you, does it? Hatred begets hatred. My brother's quest for revenge not only won't do any good, but it'll create a new hatred and sorrow. Just now with those kids. Okay, sure, but if Ray hadn't acted, the Arcadia could have been destroyed. But still, maybe you wouldn't understand since you're not a pilot yourself, but those children were charging headlong and ready to die in the process. Ray risked his own life to stop them. Really? At that moment, he chose protecting the Arcadia over killing the Claw. But why? Come on, kiddo. Think about it. His kid brother was aboard the Arcadia. You mean... that was for me? That's all conjecture from us, mind you. We couldn't see if it's true or not. Just think how, about how we choose to live, huh? Okay. That was a crazy fight, but at least we made it past him on. Nobody's left to stand between us and Axis. All that's left now is to advance, huh? That's right. No matter how it ends up panning out. Alright, so like I said, if you've been following along, you should be getting enough secret points by the end of this mission. Uh, you actually get some bonus points uh, to get that done. Inside Axis, Char's headquarters. The Infinite Haven broke past our defense line, and they're now headed for Axis. I trust you can defeat them. Uh-oh! That's a non-face we've seen, not seen before. 
They're trying to be mysterious, so it's kind of... The words fail me. Certainly. Then humanity will be unified. It's finally time to collect the investment I made. we made in you. I'm most grateful for all the support you provided me. All we care about is results. Spare us your gratitude and offer us a victory instead. I know. Char Asnable. In you, I see a man fit to represent the Earth and all of mankind. I expect you to prove it to me. Amuro, this is the path I've chosen. Discern my intentions and demonstrate your power of will. Alright. Uh, hey, we used resupply, so we, got, uh, we can buy a new item. Score! Uh, we need play? Yes. Play. Uh, Okay, nothing else is there. Oh, we got three new aces. Congratulations, Joe. That's not going to put foot on the table. You're quite the hungry fellow, aren't you, Joe? I'm a hunter, a starving wolf. I doubt a salaryman like yourself can understand. Personally, I make sure to get three square meals a day. The carry axe is loaded with snacks, too, 24-7. When I talk about staying hungry, I don't necessarily mean it literally. So you're full? Not entirely. Let me get some tea and snacks then. You can tell me all about your free roaming lifestyle during the interview. Sounds good. In return, I'll teach you about edible plants. Who looks a lot square? I didn't catch that. Annie. Congratulations, Lantis. You have my thanks. Um, I'd actually like to interview you if that's okay. I have nothing to say. You should know what to find to me. Observe me in battle. Oh, Char. Uh, hmm. I guess I can see that, yeah. Keep in mind... It, keep in mind, he's also older. This is, like, the last time you see Char, like, from Char's counterattack. Uh, so, yeah. Mobile Suit Gundam is, like, when he's the youngest, and it's also before he becomes Lieutenant Quattro, and, you know, grows out his hair a bit and puts on sunglasses and calls it a day for his disguise. Uh, pretending he's not Char. Uh, and he looks very 70s. Let's say. Is it okay to ask you something other than the fighty stuff? Like, what kind of women you're into, for example? You better not be trying to win Lance's affections on my watch! That was never my... I'll exterminate any unruly vermin who dare to flap their dirty wings in his general vicinity! What do you think vermin are here anyway? I heard that, Raimi. No forgiveness! Enough, Primera. You're causing trouble for Raimi, too. Thanks for the save, Lantis. He's kinder than he looks. I knew it. He's just like a character from a Sojo manga, manga story. That's because he is. <laughs> and play. Is that good? I guess titles don't mean, like that don't mean much to you, huh, play? Well, if you're throwing me a party, I bet it must be good. You're right. It's a very good thing. Shall we go get some ice cream as a reward? Wait, really? Yay! Let's go get Juno and the others. Hang in there, play. One day you won't have to fight anymore. Unfortunately, that day is not today. We will be dispatching her in the next mission. What do you think is going to happen to Haman Karn now? She might just vanish off to someplace nobody knows about. But living for one, the one you love, even when you know that you're, they're just using you? Giving yourself over to love, even when you're filled with uncertainty. Even when you know you'll regret it. Maybe it's not appropriate to say this, but it is romantic. In that case, why not live your own life that way? Then again, I guess you girls don't have anybody to do that for. Oh my god, you know, don't, you can't just blurt out the truth like that. I... I could have sworn I've read a manga like that before. But that still sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> you know, sit down. Uh, actually, I've got some maintenance on the double Zeta. You brought this on yourself, you know, man up and reflect on your mistakes. I, uh... I'm starting to think, maybe I blurted out some stuff that pissed off Amon today, too? You probably did, considering threatening aura she was giving off. Even so, you can't stir someone else's heart unless you are also ready to speak from the heart. You're right about that. Maybe that blunt honesty helped Amon to accept what was in her own heart. 
Great, then I can rest easy knowing I treated you ladies right. Nice try, Judo. We're salary men and office workers. We've got no patience for kids who can't distinguish when to be blunt and when to mind their business. But, uh, don't you have a job to do? We've got that covered, believe me. The combat data from the Infinite Haven fighting uh, Haman fetched an easy 10,000 from Die Hard Fan. Well, gee, that's great to hear. I'll just be going now. You got away! I can learn a thing or two about quick exit strategies from Joe. He's good at those. No kidding, Tobia. It's too late now, though. You made an incredibly rude offhanded command, uh, comment after Judo did. Uh, now sit down, Tobia. This is a good chance as any to discuss your conduct. Uh-oh, I'm already in dire peril, and the big battle with Axis hasn't even started yet. <laughs> ah, the, these boys. These dumb, dumb boys. <laughs> All right. Um, change pilot. Since we're going to be a busting out play today, I'm actually thinking I want to put her in a different vehicle if we have a better one. Because actually, we don't need to bring Fa. Fuck yeah. Play. Get in the go. Good go machine. Yes, yes, yes. The good go machine. The uh, Gundam Kai Kai. Cool. Okay. So let's play. Judo. Amuro. Camille are required. I can do that. 